seconds if the driver has ignored the warning. Still climbing up to 55. The driver is always expected to make sure that the hands are on the steering wheel until the driver puts the hands back on. We still stay on adapter cruise control. Uh, the adapter cruise control and the lane keep assist. We are talking about uh, partial automation. So you have a driver in the in the cab, and you will need a driver, and he is relieved from his daily tasks. So it's a huge step forward for a driver. It's a huge improvement in actually road safety because with a more relieved driver, he is alert when he needs to be alert, and the system will the those more boring daily tasks will be handled by the system, so the entire longitudinal mov movement of the vehicle is controlled, the throttle, the braking, and the lateral now is also control controlled with our steering system, keeping it, keeping the truck in the lanes. Most of the systems today drop out when the vehicle is pre-detected. We start warning the driver by putting a pop-up on the instrument cluster. functionality is called lane departure protection. The driver does not have to be in adaptive cruise control for that functionality. We did some testing and actually, uh, or we have not only some testing, a lot of testing and also interviews with drivers. We work closely with fleets, closely with drivers, with, with consumers. And our experience is it the driver stays alert and we have a clear method so the driver can't leave the hands of the wheel. He needs to be in the seat, he needs to have the hands of the wheel. And actually the factor of being relieved from the more boring tasks outweighs clearly this distraction argument and what we have seen in our practice experience that it adds to road safety absolutely And this is level two for the for the Cascadia. Basically, you're really talking about a, a really strong adaptive cruise control system that will help steer and brake and keep maintain speed control. Very similar to what we have in a, in a lot of passenger cars as well. But it's the first time for a big truck. Um, and it certainly, if you think about the fatigue that you have in a long drive, and you amplify that in a truck driver and driving a big, huge Freightliner Cascadia, um, this can make it a little bit easier for them and can make them better, less tired, and, and more aware, actually.